Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Good Primate. Welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video where we are going to be opening Christmas gifts. Okay, so if you didn't stay with me, um, Thursday and Friday last week, I was totally out of my game. Uh, my nose started getting clogged up, uh, just horrible, horrible allergies and just, you can still hear it right now. Like my, my throat, my nose is just, it's still draining. All right. It's just horrible, horrible allergies. Uh, I am not sick. There's no temperatures. There's no fevers and there's nothing else. It's just in my nose. So please forgive the audio, but, um, a lot of you were concerned that I didn't get those and I did, I got them. So I, I logged in, uh, that day that they came out and uh, the, I got the last present. So thank you everyone for asking, hey Code, did you, did you get them? I'll, I'll go get you a whole bunch. And I know you're, you're gonna give me some in the future anyway, and it's it's cool. Thank you, I appreciate it. I really wanted to tell you guys that, like thank you guys so much for thinking of me and messaging me and just letting me know. Let's get started. So um, I don't remember which present came out first. I think it was this one. This was the first present that came out. So I want to see what this is. I've been trying not to, not to look. Hold on, Grey Dog. No, dude, I'm playing. <laughs> By myself. Grey Dog, you always ask if you can join stuff. I'm in like, again, I appreciate it. Just, I wanna play by myself. I, I'm, <clears throat> It's weird because I grew up in a time where video games and stuff, there wasn't a bunch of multiplayers and the multiplayers that we had, um, it was, he says, I'm sorry. Oh, gray dog. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's me. Okay. Trust me. It's totally me. Um, I grew up in a time where playing games was a solo activity and multiplayer MMOs and stuff like that. It wasn't really big. And I think that's why I wasn't really big on relying on guilds and parties and stuff like that on uh, on MMOs. Like er early, uh, what is it, EverQuest. Uh, EverQuest Online Adventures for the PlayStation 2. Okay, I, I loved playing in groups and stuff, but I hated relying on a tank to get stuff done, to, to level up my experience. I I'm talking too much. I'm sorry. What is this? Oh, what is this? Hold on. The Lumber Games. The Lumber Games by Captain Hoover? <gasps> no way. <sighs> okay, so we actually have a thing called the Lumber Games, which works kind of like the uh, Hunger Games. May the logs be ever in your favor. <laughs> Hoover is just a little author, isn't he? Dude, that is awesome. So that's that's gift number one. Uh, let's see here. I don't think there's anything that direction. So the next one I want to open is this one. It's the stripey, stripey present. I don't even remember what it was called. The, the gift with yellow stripes or something like that. Oh, and it is, it's a yellow candy cane. <laughs> oh, that's the one I was like, oh, is this the axe? Is this the axe? No. Got a yellow candy cane. Can we eat it? You cannot press E and eat them. Or the book. No eating the book. Don't eat the book. Bad. Why are we eating books? Uh, that's the turkey. That's not the gift. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Where's... Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so let's grab the purple one because I think the purple one was next and this was the one that was in fancy furnishings. So, open. It's going to be a ball. Oh, it's black. Dude, nice. 60195. So, six, 60,195. 194 have been opened before me. Now, in the short time that it took me to grab that that ball and take it over there, watch this. This will not be a consecutive number. You ready? Oh my gosh. 
How many were opened in between it? Six zero two zero zero. Sixty twenty. Oh my gosh. Sorry, sixty two hundred. So in between the time that I opened that one, walked back over there and opened this one, there were what fifteen others that were opened up. No, five five more. Five more. Where did I get fifteen? Added a one to the nine. So there were there were five other ones that were opened up in between that time. That just goes to show you how many people are playing at one time. So we got our ball. This is the one that appeared on the couches in fancy furnishings. I think. Hold on. Yeah, because that one's that one's down in the paint shop. And I don't know if this is the order of them, but I'm gonna open it. What is it? Oh, it's an actual bowling ball. Holy cow. Really? Is that why it was a heavy gift? I don't see the, the holes for the, the fingers. Are there finger holes? How heavy is it? Oh, that's that's pretty big. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. That's nice. That's awesome. That'll go with the uh, the last gift that we got, because technically I already know what those are. Somebody blabbed them to me, but that's fine. All right, this is the one that Hoofer, not Hoofer. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Hoofer. <laughs> this is the one from Bob's Shack, and it's a is is it a turkey leg? What is this? What is this thing? It says grab. Yeah. It's either a ham shank or a turkey leg. Nice. Can we eat it? There is no eating it, but there's a food item. So if you've been with us um, from the beginning, he has given us a spork, a plate, hamburger in a can, all kinds of food item things. Now, I think... I think I know what this one is, and I, I, this one should be the axe of overgrowth or something like that. The overgrown axe, which I think works better on zombie. We have not tested it yet. I haven't tested it yet. Uh, I will make another video about that, but that's the overgrown axe. Looks amazing. Beautiful. Awesome. All right. Larg. I'm really interested to see what this one is. Okay. Is it an ice cube? Oh, and it's made out of ice, isn't it? I have a theory. I have a theory. Because didn't it say that this one was soggy or something like that? I'm gonna go throw that in the volcano. I wanna see if it turns into something else. That will be amazing if it does. Okay. That's it for those presents. And the last one that we need to do, up at the top, we already know it's gonna be a polling pin, but I went ahead and purchased 12 of them so I can set up my own game of bowling. I think I purchased 12. I may have purchased more than that, but let's go ahead and re-res the truck. Blink. There we go. That way I've got Come on, bowling pin. Boom. And that will go with our bowling ball as well. So we can, we can, oh gosh. We can set up a game of bowling. I wonder if it's a perfect one by one. Uh, if I were to set up, let's see, where's the squares? Actually, you know what would work even better? Would be these. A post. One, two, three, four. And do I have some wood up here? I think I've got some wood upstairs or somewhere, maybe. Oh gosh. What was that? Xbox companion just turned on. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so I, I purchased 16. What I was wondering is if it's exactly one by one, you could um, make loaders where you could take the this, set it in the top, 
and then it would fall through and it would land perfectly where you needed the uh, the next pin. So, and if you were to set up um, the top to kind of look like this, where it's one, two, three, like that, and then you could just take them and drop them in. See, and then that would set up your, your pins for you. But I think that might be too far apart, so. Oh gosh, what am I doing? Here, I don't need to zoom in every single time. And if I stick my mouse closer to it like this. Done, 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 done. Yay. So we got bowling pins and I, wa I want to test that theory with the, uh, the ice cube. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'll run that up there and then we'll test the size of it and just see if it does any shrinky shrink. I wonder if it melts. Cause that's, that's always something fun is uh, when defaulty hides secrets. I'm hoping that this is a secret. Let it melt inside the, uh... Oh, I wonder if I could drop it into the volcano. What if you can drop it in the volcano and it freezes the volcano lava? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try melting it first. We're just going to leave it in there for a second, see if it goes down in size, and if it does, cool. If not, that's cool too. Whoa, it just jumped right over that, didn't it? Okay. Let's pull this out. We're going to stick it right there, that way we can see it. Get a little size comparison here. Put our mouse right on the edge, and then that way, if it does shrink a little bit, we can see it. Okay, so we'll leave it there for just a second. And <clears throat> I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. I, want, I hope you had time to visit with family, friends, stuff like that. I know that there was a lot of, um, what is it? There was a lot of, airplanes um airliners that were shut down because of the the new covid stuff and just people being very scared and worried and if you happen to be scared and worried about the uh, amicrombian virus or whatever it is the new variant of covid i'm i do like i'm so sorry for you guys do your best endure be vigilant, wear your mask, you know, all that good stuff. And if you're if you're a firm believer in not doing that, you know, to each their own. I don't want to push or involve that, but there's certain things that you can do to, like, help, uh, help prevent the spread. So. This has taken a while. I, w I wonder how long it will take. Maybe we should just go throw it in. Should we just go throw it in? I think that'd be more fun personally especially if it like puts out the lava that's going to be awesome um looking at the ice cube it does not look like it is melting at all i wonder if i have to be in it at the same time i wonder okay we can definitely see my life is going down a little bit Life is not going down as much. Life is still going down though. <coughs> Ooh, we stopped the uh, stopped it from coming forward. Let's 
try walking through here. Cannot push a boulder out of the way with it. So it doesn't help with boulders. Push, 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 push. Let's try throwing it into the lava. Oh, no, nope. just caught on fire. Oh, dang it. And our, li our life didn't seem to be going down or up any faster after that. Oh, gosh, move. Let me out. Let me out. Move it. Would you please just let me through? Let me through, please. Get out of my way. Get out of my way, Boulder. Whee! Man, that was close. <clears throat> so, ice cubes don't do anything inside the volcano, as far as I know. I wonder if we could put it in the swamp. Freeze the swamp. Maybe. That'd be kind of cool. Anywho. Uh, maybe next video I will uh, I'll set up a bowling alley and we'll go bowling. That'd be fun. That or we could uh, do ideas for how to make the bowling ball come back to us, like a return feature. Because I'm pretty sure that bowling ball will uh, will fit on wire if you if you set up the wire correctly. Here, I think I've got a couple of wires, don't I? Mm, yeah, they're all up there though. Hmm. Well, here, let's uh, take the ball up and we'll we'll go play with uh, some wires for a second. <clears throat> Ooh, it's it was shiny. Did you see that? It's got reflection on it. Nice. Oh, come on. E. There we go. Throw that in the back. Weird. Oh man, it is rolly. It is a rolly poly. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing so much. I mean, it's not like I can help it, but you know, I also didn't take any cough medicine today because I found out that it is allergies and. Uh-oh, am I stuck? Am I stuck? Oh no. Oh gosh, okay, come on. Move. Move out the way. There we go. Come on. There we go. It's good. On up we go. You know what? I'm going to stop right about here and just make sure that this this doesn't fit through there, right? Oh gosh, it does. Shoot. Okay. So let's park the car right there. That way its chances of falling out there are like slim to none. I mean, it's still possible, but will it go under the, the car? Oh, oh, come here. Come here. Can you go under the car? No, you cannot. So, good. That's blocked off. Now I can go over here and I can get a wire or two, maybe. If I could see the wire, that'd be great. Oh, here's a wire. And a toilet. Hello, Mr. Toilet. All right, so, <clears throat> let's just experiment on this little wall right here. How big is this thing? It looks like this thing might be two units long. So let's slap it against the wall there. Here's that. Let's do B, no, let's do number two. Hold on one second. There we go, we're back. Hey everyone, my son came in. He says hi to everyone and happy holidays. And uh, what was I doing? I need to go out, do a post. We'll do one here and one here. So it's actually, it's just under two units long. 
or two units diameter. Well, it might be right there at two units. Let's see. <clears throat> if we move this in just a little bit. No, it's it's under two units. So destroy that one. Destroy that one. And destroy that one. Okay. So if it's just under two units, that means we should be able to do one post and what do you think? Five tiles? Let's do five tiles. Because it takes, I think it takes five tiles to create one unit. One, two, three, four. Four tiles. So let's do, let's do two tiles. Two tiles. Oh, I was wrong. I was wrong. Destroy. Destroy. Okay. And then the next one will... No, no, I don't want to destroy. Eek. All right. Small floor. Wait, how many units is that? It's one unit, right? Yeah, one unit. We'll put one unit here and then do two tiles. Small tile. One, two. Like that. And if we attach this wire right here down to dang it is that as far as that wire goes okay. right there should be fine so hold on hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go, and finished. So if we attach it right there, destroy, destroy, and destroy. <clears throat> tiny floor, one, and then tiny towel, two of them. One, two. Okay, so now, oh, we'll attach this one here, and this one here. Oh, gosh. Okay. Destroy. 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 And destroy. 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 This should be just wide enough to hold a bowling ball and to do some cool physics stuff. Boom. <laughs> so, if you needed to have a, a bowling ball rack or something like that, <clears throat> or if you wanted to have like a little time switch delay or some kind, so like uh, a door would stop you here, and then another door would like pop up and knock that one out, and then the next one would come down, get stopped by the door. So like, have one here, right? Because that'll stop it. So if you had... Here. I'll show you an example. But I'm not going to go into details. So. Let's do a basic door. Like. A door that would do something like this. And then another door. That would be. Uh, turn, turn, turn. Like. This. Right? So like, this would already have a bowling ball on this side, and this door would open up, push the bowling ball off, and then this door would open up, push this bowling ball in, or something along that lines. Basically, you'd have to have one that would release the ball that's there. <clears throat> oh, I guess you could do that. Hold on. Let's move this like this. Okay. So you'd have one right here. Right, and you'd have another one already staged and sitting, basically. Oh gosh, get right there. Basically, right here. So you'd have one already sitting here, right? And this door would. Oh gosh, man. 
You are heavy. Ah, uh, stop, stop. I'm not gonna be able to do this, am I? Whoop. There we go. There we go. Shoo. So, one would be sitting here already. This door would drop down, and then that ball would fall. And then this door would come back up. This door would open up and push this ball out and there'd be a little stopper here so the next ball would be ready something something like that i think that would work oh my gosh it's almost been 30 minutes but <clears throat> i think something like that would be awesome and it would work for an actual bowling alley uh bunny films i know you can build something that would look awesome like a, a get a bowling alley that would work and so you could like set pins stuff like that so, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Did I open all the presents? I think I did. Um, you know what? You don't have to subscribe unless you really want to. And that's truly from the bottom of my heart. Like, you guys are here and watching, and that's more than I could ever ask for. Thank you. Love you guys. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Outro.